Welcome Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, I'm Juanita and we're going to look at what is going on for you over the next two weeks and um, see if there's any um, guidance we can give you to help you along this time. So we are starting with the Sacred Forest Oracle and clarifying with Osho Zen. Okay, so let's give these a little shuffle here Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm just going to say that if this video hits for you, please subscribe and like and do all that wonderful stuff so that we can help people together. Yeah, because that's the whole idea of this channel is to help with this journey of life. And um, yeah, so let's do that together. Anyway, into it. Spirit Guardian of Autumn, letting go. You know, Capricorn. You know how in autumn, like the leaves fall from the tree and um, it's kind of like, this is a natural process for the leaves. It's a cycle that it goes through every single year. Okay. And I kind of feel like this is something that maybe you need to adopt into your life to kind of like look at, you know, at certain times of the year, um, potentially once a year, to look at actually having a bit of a cull and getting rid of the things that do not serve you, okay? Um, it's as though, for some of you, you could be holding on to things that don't serve you because you're afraid to let them go. And it's kind of that um, energy of, oh, if I let it go, I'm going to be without but it's a matter of understanding, just like the tree, the leaf has to fall and there'll be a period through winter where nothing grows and it might seem like, oh gosh, I've done the wrong thing. Um, but the fact of the matter is when summer comes, there's, oh yeah, so, um, sorry, spring comes, there's new leaves um, and things start to sprout again and then in summer the fruit grows right or uh, you know the blossoms grow and you know all these things happen so it really is this process and understanding that the cycle is a necessary and natural one okay um, experiencing I love this uh, this really is um, kind of like moving forward there's a decision potentially that some of you have had to make and it may very well be that you've had to let go of something in the process of that and um, it's actually experiencing the the product of that letting go. Well, I don't know if product is the right word. I think I've used the wrong word there. But it's experiencing the process, I feel. Okay, and it feels like you're at the beginning of this process. Not, it's not a brand new beginning, but you're still at the beginning somewhat, if that makes sense. Okay, conditioning, very interesting. I feel as though for some of you, you may have been, <sighs> sorry, just bear with me here, Capricorn. It's like there's, there's some way that you're used to of doing something and I feel as though that needs to be changed up. It's like, and, and maybe that's what, or maybe you have changed it. This could be what this letting go of is about. Um, changing, the, changing your approach to something, potentially. Trying new things out, maybe. Surrendering, surrendering, um, and that could be a really scary thing to do because you're kind of treading into unknown waters, but I feel like it's a necessary thing for you to do. Um, I feel like this way, Capricorn, you're actually going to realise that you are going to discover things about yourself that you like traits about yourself or 
maybe hidden gifts or talents about yourself that you didn't realize you actually possessed. Spirit guardian of summer. You see, this is the expansion, right? Letting go. This is definitely a cycle that is happening and in order to let go is when the tree will grow. Yeah, this is so cool that this has come up. I love that. Right in with the scenario that I was explaining. And I feel like this is also going to allow you to, to kind of release. Um, oh, there's just something inside you that I feel is suppressed. Okay, it's like. Wayne Dyer saying, you know, don't die with your music still in you. And that's what I feel like is the case for you, for some of you here. Um, there is some healing that needs to be done. And I feel as though with this conditioning card, it may be that you've been conditioned to be a certain way. And it's really hard to break free of that because although uh, it has suppressed you, it's also the known for you to so to 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 actually do the healing. It's like this opening your heart again, and um and that's that's scary for you. What's this card here? Awareness. But I feel like by doing that Capricorn, and maybe you have been in the process of doing that, um, your true self is going to be revealed. I'm wondering if some of you know what lays within, but you're afraid to let it out. Blue Bell Fairy, gratitude. This is all about raising your vibration, okay? Um, and the best way of doing it is to have gratitude. Now, Capricorn, it could be the case that, you know, with this conditioning and this suppression and even the healing that needs to be done, um, This is, I just feel like I have to put this quite delicately. There are still things that you have learned through these um, hard times, I want to say. And, um, and it really is bringing your awareness to, you know, that could be, for example, that could be showing you how strong you actually are. Okay, by breaking out of the status quo, this may show you that you have this inner strength that you didn't realize you possessed, okay? So, and, and potentially, Capricorn, did I call you Virgo? I don't think I did, but Virgo's popping in my head for some reason. Maybe you've got Virgo in your chart, so go and have a look at that reading if you do. Anyhow, um... I feel as though it's really important for you to be very open-minded as to how, you know, um, things that have happened to you um, have made you the person that you are. And that's not to say that, say, for example, if you were a victim of a trauma, it doesn't mean to say that that perpetrator that you are grateful to them, um, but it's really about what you have learned from the situation, okay, and what tools you may have gathered that have um, kind of assisted you in getting to where you are now. I guess that would be the best way of putting that. And so having gratitude for that. And by having gratitude for that, that will also help you let go. Okay? And it's not, I don't mean that in a minimizing way of, oh, just let it go. Like, not in that way. You still need to do the healing and you need to acknowledge things that have gone on for yourself. But, um, but having gratitude also for you, Capricorn, and how you have got through that. Okay? And that's going to help you rise up. And help you move forward. And we've got this stag here. Down here. 
A mistake is quite powerful, like it has this inner knowing. Really interesting. That is kind of what I perceive to be a mystical card. There's a stag. I'm not sure why. Um, but this gratitude will help you to have this breakthrough to let your inner self shine okay to let your inner light shine here and um and this is going to propel you onto on an adventure which may seem really scary okay but just the path that is it lays ahead for you capricorn that actually feels really exciting um and i suppose to treat it as an adventure as opposed to something daunting and scary okay even though you are going to Feel those emotions, but try to um, switch that mindset about it. We have the phoenix, transmuta transmutation, rising up out of the ashes, right? Um, I really love this. And I feel like this goes hand in hand with this card here. You know, for, for some of you Capricorn, you may have been doing the healing. And um, this may give in, have given you a deeper awareness into as to who you are okay and this rising up here see look at this fury here rising up it's like it's like the vibration is naturally helping you to make this transformation to transmute your energy to help you rise above what ultimately has burned you it's like you're rising up so high that the fire can no longer burn you because it can't reach you because you're too high now, right? Whoops, too many cards. Far too many cards here. Tell me more about transmutation for Phoenix. The other thing I want to say about this is, um, is any emotions that seem to be dragging on that you just can't release um it, it can be an idea to send them to the highest source of light for transmutation okay we have harmony this is what you're headed towards capricorn is harmony really connecting this heart and this um higher self really i feel okay um like this transmute transmutation um, transformation, I keep wanting to say, which is the same thing realistically, this is going to lead you to places that you have only dreamed of. Letting go again, walking away from all things that do not serve you. Okay, these, these old leaves that have fallen from the tree, that you don't need these. It's like the leaves have been used to start the fire right and this could be the beginning of something new and passionate something that you're passionate about be it a new um, hobby a new job a new relationship whatever okay use these things that you are letting go to ignite this fire within you to take you on a path that's going to lead you to this okay this new adventure here i really love this for you capricorn Willow spirit, flexibility. Okay, so this is really about making sure you bend with the wind. Wind brings change, okay? And change can be scary. Of course it can. But I would say be mindful of not, not being stubborn because if you have a tree, right, and it's incredibly windy, and the branches refuse to bend and sway with the wind. They're going to break. So what you want to do is you want to be adaptable and flexible. Okay, so that you can make this change. It's going to make, actually make this change a lot easier. Um, rather than kind of resisting it. Um, really, it is about going with the flow. Oh my gosh, and it just fell out going with the flow yes moment to moment okay um not swimming against the current current this is again a new beginning a new passionate beginning 
oh man, Capricorn, this is pretty exciting. With this moment to moment card, I feel as though, you know, keep your awareness in check, okay? Because this person is going on these stepping stones, right? They're about to make the next step, but I don't know if you can see this clearly or not, but he has his eyes closed. And so he has no idea where exactly his foot is going to land. Okay, um, if he opened his eyes, not only would he be able to see where he's going to place his foot next, but he would also see that hidden here are other stepping blocks that he could potentially use to raise himself up. Okay, above this flow here, which reminds me of... The winds of change okay so this is about being flexible and open to new ways of traveling this journey all right um yeah and just making sure that you, you your perspective is widened like you're not having a narrow focus as to which direction you're going in making sure that you're adaptable to the change and being flexible so if you need to change direction at any point you can do that with ease okay sometimes we get so focused on what it is that we want to achieve or the destination we're not really taking note of the journey and each step we're taking and so this is where you're going to gather your your experience and and this is going to raise your awareness right and every time you learn another lesson have gratitude for that be grateful for that because it's something else that you can add to your toolbox you know a, another way of dealing with something or uh, or coping with something yeah um so this is very very important for you um i want to say with this going with the flow as well is that and this kind of pertains to manifesting something in a sense making sure for one thing that you are um, appreciation appreciating what it is that you have in the now okay because sometimes we can aim towards something because we believe that that something will fulfill us somehow. So it really is about knowing that what we have within us, right, being aware of what we have within us is enough. We are enough with who we are, okay? And so that when we arrive to where we're actually going, whatever that looks like, we're already fulfilled in here. Okay, um, okay, so Mystic Meadow Sanctuary, I love this, I really, really love this, and this is like this hibernation after the winter, right, coming out, um, like letting things go, right, and then going into hibernation after you've let things go, kind of to let the dust settle, and once you've done that and you come out, be open to what you might come out to, because it could be this mystical meadow, Right, and I suppose this is what I was saying before about going with the flow and, and being satisfied with who you are and knowing that that is enough, you know, and um, and not, not kind of having those expectations because sometimes when we have expectations, we can limit ourselves without realising it. And we think, oh no, I should have high expectations. Um, but that can still be... Be limiting ourselves okay so we could end up in this meadow when in fact what we because this is what we expect we're like I expect this beautiful meadow with this high vibration and that's very well I'm fine but we could be missing out on this mystical meadow all right and so you know, we become closed off to the magical wonders of the world and um, and I feel like this is what will get you to this harmony by just allowing it. See, this is this flow again, right? Allowing, you know, just to drop into your heart here, okay? So that your heart can start allowing the flow 
to happen because we've got the beginning of the flow here and this is the ten this is like the ace of cups and then the ten of cups okay so this is where you want to end up and this is the beginning of it okay and moment to moment being aware opening your eyes and and really um holding that awareness of each step that you take with the most widest perspective that you can have is the way to get there okay being incredibly flexible okay so mystic meadow sanctuary what have we got here oh interesting we've got laziness um too many cards here that's really interesting I feel like this is this manifestation thing again of actually making sure that you take action, whatever whatever you are trying to manifest, to take action towards that, not just to sit there and think that you can dream it up and it's going to happen. You do need to take the action, okay? You do need to take the steps to get there, okay? Um, and, and again, with the healing, you know, this is part of the steps of getting there. So making sure that you're not missing out on doing the maybe the uncomfortable things that you don't want to do or that you're trying to avoid. Um, it's kind of like, oh, if I just skim over that, then it'll be fine because I've done X, Y and Z. But you haven't actually done A, B and C. And so it will be a matter of having to come back to do those. Okay, so if to open yourself up to this um the highest vibration you have to do the work so that you can be receptive to receiving that okay um wolf spirit family oh wow this is powerful look at the look on that main wolf's face here Whew. i really love that there's this real standing in the power like a, a real knowingness, a real surety about you. And maybe this is what you're getting towards. Um, but doing it in a way that's still being flexible and still letting go. Like the wolf. The wolf accepts whatever the elements are throwing at the wolf. The wolf knows how to handle those and manage those. The wolf doesn't try and fight those elements the wolf adapts to those elements and I feel as though that is for you the need to be adaptable okay because there will be trials and tribula tribulations on the way and maybe over the next two weeks Capricorn that's something that you can definitely practice is this um you know practicing to go with the flow type of thing right um yeah, because it's like you want to bring in everything that you can in order. See, here's another 10. This is the 10 of pentacles, right? It's kind of like bringing in all aspects so that you can get to here. Again, not skimming over any of these aspects. Everything needs to be equally divided or equally contributed in order to get to this okay you can't shut anything out and you can't close anything off everything has to be considered stag spirit oh this is the stag leadership kind of like taking the bulls by the horn taking the bulls by the horn but also understanding there's a time to go forward there's a time for rest there's a time for reflection and there's a time to let go and whatever else there's a time for right whatever else Time for healing, time for receptivity, you know, everything that needs to be done to actually 
arrive to where you're heading, Capricorn, needs to be done sharing. Sharing the fruits of your labor, leadership, sharing your knowledge, okay? Um, because when you do that, you're going to ignite in other people ideas, and that's only going to add to, um, to this journey. Because it really is like you're leading the way here. And I feel as though by raising your vibration and having gratitude for where you're at right now on the journey is going to allow this internal power to come through. Okay. What else do we have for leadership for Capricorn here? This is really quite interesting, Capricorn. Thunderbolt. Is there anything else? This is about building a solid foundation here. Standing in the knowingness of what you are setting out to achieve, okay, um, and, and knowing that whatever this thunderbolt moment represents, that it couldn't happen if the foundation was ever solid. Um, so I always feel like the thunderbolt is, is a good card because although it might feel bad, It is actually necessary in order for you to let go. Okay, and this thunderbolt moment may actually be what is required for this conditioning to be released because you have a look here at the ropes around the feet here. These ropes are wrapped around this person here, keeping them down. And there's all this cracking here, like cracking, getting ready for this breakthrough. Okay. And so this is a necessary part of the trip. Okay. There's, you know, every journey that we go on, every cycle that we go on, there's highlights and there's times that we'd prefer to forget. But always remember, there's always things to be learned. Always. Through the good and the bad, yeah? Okay, so Forest Temple Enlightenment. Wow, what a card to end on. Wow, 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 we Enlightenment, this is what you're heading towards. This is like this, this is right underneath Mystic's Meadow Sanctuary. And I absolutely adore this. Like after the thunderbolt, man, you're going to have this absolute kind of light bulb moment. Enlightenment. This is what you are heading towards. And see how the heart here is, is glowing green. This is this healing of the heart here. The opening up of the heart. Okay, this is this activating the chakra, this area of the heart here. This is beautiful, Capricorn. Absolutely gorgeous. What have we got? Projections. Um, this, Capricorn, may very well be for some of you to not spend too much time deciding on which way you want to go okay um letting go of any stubbornness surrounding any direction that you're going to go in okay and um and taking that leadership because um and not waiting for other people necessarily okay it could be that you may need to let go of some people along your journey um that potentially aren't great for you Okay, um, and I do feel like once you can let that go, um, that's going to bring about this enlightenment. Oh, it's just dropped on the floor, but anyway. Um, 
And I feel as though the longer you delay um, whatever it is that needs to be let go of, um, that the journey is just going to take that much longer for you to get to this place of enlightenment. Okay, um, I just want to see if there's any other cards here pertaining to this because... Capricorn, this is what you're heading towards. You are heading towards the truth of who you are. Yep, 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 yep. And there is no better journey to take. There may be some of you who are going through the dark night of the soul right now. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I tell you what, it's a hard journey. But boy, oh boy, it's worth it because this is what you get to. Coming back to your truth, to the truth of who you are and really mastering that. And that is always evolving and forever changing. And that's the beauty of it, you know, to become enlightened is to continue growing, okay? We never stop rising, okay? Um, and I feel as though that if you can work on this letting go over the next couple of weeks, that's going to help you become more flexible and adaptable to flow with these changes that are happening, Okay, Capricorn, I really hope that has helped you. Good luck with that. Okay, Capricorn, see you. Bye-bye.